Hi, it's Jill with Crick Flix, and tonight I'm going to be putting together some centerpieces for a couple little boys, and the theme is Madagascar. Now, they had gone to the photographer. I want to look and see what the pictures look like. Um, because I think that it was just this little boy and this little boy holding this giraffe. I'm pretty sure I'm going to look at it and see. This is for you, Aisha. And I want to find the picture. Should have found that before I started, huh? Okay. Well, I don't know when the conversation was. I can't find it. But I know not these other animals. I believe <clears throat> the giraffe and the lion were in the picture from the photographer. I hope you can see this because I watched my last video and saw how much the camera didn't catch. But anyway, Jenna designed this. And it's got the two little boys. And then she put the Madagascar animals, the hippopotamus, the, the, the um, penguins, and the signs that the little boys are holding. I thinking what else? There's a little animal. I think that must have been in the picture. I don't know. But those images were all added to the picture because it was just of the boys and the giraffe. So I think she did a fantastic job. Wild boys do know. Do know. Not what that is meaning, but that was on the box. And Madagascar. So, what I'm going to do, she's got it all glittered, and I'm going to put it together and see what we got here and show you what I'm going to do with the bases. Got all sorts of new stuff coming on. I know I mentioned it in the film last night, and I keep mentioning it because I was so excited. But today I didn't get to do anything because I had my two two-year-old grandsons and my four-month-old granddaughter. And... So it was kind of a busy day. But I'll tell you, my two grandsons, oh my gosh, they're just so cute. They played together. Uh, they rolled the four-wheelers. They ran around. They played on the swing set. They played on the climb. Um, we have a climbing, I don't even know what it's called. But we have some of the, like, the park stuff that, that you get, a uh, merry-go-round and a teeter-totter. And... They typically on the back swimming, but it was 62 degrees today and there was no swimming. So they ran around and I did the best I could to keep them safe. My husband was working on his shed that he's not completed yet. And at the end, my husband made a ramp to put at the bottom of the shed to get his... Um, snowblower in there so he made a ramp to make it easy coming up back garage door and then and right in i mean just made it he made the shed pretty good size and he did it right off the back of our house and did all of it to match our house so it looks like it's uh, an ex it looks like it's part of the house um i said man if you would have put a little pathway there and connected it he, he when he redid the garage and made it his man cave he heated it and i said that would have been nice to have that little part heated but anyway, the end of the thing, what I was trying to get at was the boys, um, the little two-year-olds, were playing uh, in there. And just just absolutely those moments that to me are so priceless. I, I just can't even begin to tell you. My family just, I, I'm in awe of how blessed I am. I, I just am in total awe because I have got just the best grandkids and kids and but when my husband started to make the shop shed he did the frame or the base in the garage no he did that outside then he started doing all the walls in the garage because it was raining so much well <laughs> we tried to put them out we got one wall out between him and i i nearly broke a nail so i was done i told him ma'am this is going to cost you if i break a nail and he knew what i meant <laughs> and so that was the last of my helping but then next thing you know my my um, oldest son shows up, my youngest son shows up um, with his girlfriend and my son-in-law and my daughter. They all show up to help him move these walls that he made out of the, uh, out of the garage. 
guys, this is a bag of nothing more than tree branches that have been cut up that I'm using on this base to just put some wood in there and kind of give it a little bit of dimension. I have some little tiny ones here too, and I got these to add to the bases of pieces that had anything to do with, with um, kind of the outdoors, woods, anim animals. Um, there's a lot of them that I do, Moana, and some that aren't even, well, Madagascar, I can't think of which other ones, but anyway, that's what I wanted to add for a little bit something different here. My bases will continue to be different on every order. Um, people that do order, I want them to understand that the bases will be very, very different because I want them to be unique. I don't want them to be like everything else and everything else people have done. So. Let me see. I made this stick longer when I put it together so that it would still stick down in here. And, come on, whoops, would help if I was sticking it in the hole that my husband put in there. And then we got it. And I've got it. Probably should have put that on there first. I'm going to put some more on it because I can. I am in Dee Dee. Um, trying to think what else was I was going to tell. Um, I don't know. Like I said, I had my grandsons today, so when I have them, uh, I don't go too far from home. I had my 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 one, uh, Blake, because mommy went to the doctor, the esthetician and uh, wanted to get a treatment done that's supposed to, <laughs> supposed to minimize uh, wrinkles. And I'm thinking, oh man, that doesn't sound very good. And she came back today and I had posted once a video or a picture of, yeah, it was a video of Blakey crying because his mom came out with a mask on and he wanted her to take it off. It scared him. She came he came today from the esthetician and he's crying for her to take this off. Well, what happens is they burn your face. They laser. It's a laser treatment. And her face, it takes off like the first couple layers of skin and it's supposed to minimize wrinkles, although it didn't enhance. It looked like you just come out of a fire. Um, she's, what well, just looks like a sunburn. I said, no, it doesn't look like a sunburn. It's, no, it's, and, um, both my daughters were going, and I think they have this big, I don't know, big fear of aging. I guess probably because they're watching my mother and maybe watching me. Although, I may be getting older, but I can still keep up with the young ones. And like my daughter always told me, age was nothing but a number. You know, mine might be a little bit higher in digits, however. Um, and we've been talking about this a lot lately, I think, partly because of my mother. I'm terrified, terrified to go through something like that. Just terrified. But um, my daughter had said she was going to, and she'd asked the, the esthetician about wrinkles. And the esthetician told her, uh, I wouldn't do it. Um, you don't need it. My other daughter, the younger one, went, and I don't think she asked her her opinion. I think she just told her, I want this done. And I don't want to hear about how you don't think because that one that went in and got it has absolutely beautiful skin. Olive, she's got that Latin, just beautiful skin. And I don't know why she did it. But when she came back, I said, you know, I am 66. I'm going to be 77, 67. I'm an next birthday, God willing. And I thought about going in just... You know, all, some of us as we age, you just get these things that you don't want to, I don't know, I don't know what it is, but um, I thought about going in, so I said, give me the name of them, and I'll just check it out one time. When she came back, though, when I saw her, I said, there is a no way I would do that. And she said that um, it would take about five days before the redness or whatever would go away. I said, uh, I don't know, I'm not doing that not doing that and hurt. 
she, when she was here, she said she had to get going because she had to put ice packs on it. And I had taken some pictures of her outside swinging, you know, because we were playing with the kids and I got some pictures. And my daughter-in-law, when she came to pick up, when my son and daughter-in-law showed up to get my, my grandson, she, she saw on one of the pictures that I posted. And she said how, it was just barely see her face because she was on the swing set with her with Blake. And you could barely see her face, but you could see enough, apparently, that showed uh, and I tried to not put up a picture that showed it, although I know my daughter doesn't care if, if anybody saw it. Uh, she has an event to go to tomorrow. I said, man, did you think about that before you went in and did it? it? Looks like they just took off down to the raw meat of her face. And um, she said no. She called them to tell them that she was going to look like a monster because um, she had passed to go to this thing. She's really getting big into real estate. But anyway, um, when she came back here, my grandson kept saying, Take it off. Get that off. And she's telling, no, I can't. It's, I can't take it off. He's, he's two and does not like the way his mommy looked at that. That face like she's got a mask on. So I hope he he calmed down by the time she got home. Just a little story I thought I'd share. And you know, guys, I hear a lot, a lot, a, a lot. Just other people talking and, and um, comments that are made and things like that. And... I tried to make reference in one of my videos recently that don't expect to watch my videos and walk away with all these, these, you learned all these techniques and oh my God, you know, how did you, I didn't do anything that not anybody can do. It's easy. But some have left comments that I get a little off track and I've mentioned that before. Those kinds of things sit with me. I don't... <laughs> I don't shake them off well. I don't care. I just don't don't want to do something to provoke other people of of uh, that rude that rudeness. Because again, you want to be, you want a video to teach you and whatever. Uh, guarantee you, those are people that are getting paid to do that, and or figure it out your, or figure it out yourself. Find somebody that does because I do it for fun. And I am very, very, very thankful for a lot of the, the um, folks that have t written me. As a matter of fact, I got two messages today from people that just write and tell me um, that I'm an inspiration. You know, with family, you know, people, people nowadays, I, it's probably not nowadays, it's probably been going on for years. Um, you know, the importance of family. Now, we don't all feel the same way about it, but me going through what I'm going through with my mother right now, if it was not for my children, my husband, my 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 children's families, their, their husbands and everything, and their in-laws, my kids' in-laws, all of them. We traveled with my son-in-law's mother and father, went to Disney with us this year. It's all one big happy family, the way that I think, I think it should be, but it isn't always, and for whatever reason, it's not, and um, that's what my my YouTube channel is for. My YouTube channel is trying to walk people through, help people, inspire people. I can't even think of what else, but another word, I can't think of it, but... I will say, for those of you that are looking to think that this is a technical college and I'm teaching you whatever, I'm not, not, not a college, it's just, just a grandmother, retired, sitting in her house, doing what she loves, and sharing it with people that love it. I've got more people that love it that don't, than don't. So, those of you that have got a problem, I guess that's just, I said, you got your choice which watch. And, and I would say I appreciate your comments and your feedback, but I really don't. <laughs> I'm being honest. I don't. You've got something nasty to say. Get it out. Make yourself feel better. And then get off my channel. Because I do not like Debbie Downers. My mother's become a Debbie Downer. But at least she has an excuse. And that is that she cannot help it. For those of you that know better and can help it, 
try and make people feel good. Do whatever you have to do to make somebody feel good. Because usually when you make comments like that, that usually comes from people that are unhappy. So when I hear it, I don't think they're rude. I don't think they're this. I don't think that. I think they're unhappy. And I feel sorry for them. But I will not let them rain on my parade. And let me see how many dings I get on this one or how many comments come. If you're Debbie Downer, move on. I beat that one like a dead horse, guys. Sorry. Sorry. Should have left that one alone. But, you know, it's already out of the box. So this is what it is. It is what it is. Let me think. I'm going to get you on a cheery note. <gasps> Started watching the series Gilmore Girls. And, oh my gosh, I had always been watching things like um, Law and & Order and uh, Blue Bloods. Blue Bloods because I love Tom Selleck. It's aging me, but Tom Selleck is, wow. Man, he's eye candy, that's for sure. To the elderly. I'm sure not to some of you youngins, but... I, I like the show for him. I really like him. I like the character he plays. I like the dynamics of the family and everything like that. However, it is a crime show. So, I started looking for series, series that weren't. And I've seen the... I, um, I, use Net, I do streaming. I use Netflix and Amazon. And, and I've seen Gil, the Gilmore Girls. I think it was a TV series. And never paid attention to it because it kind of had a quirky name. But I started watching it, tripped over it by accident, and not, <laughs> I'm obsessed with it. Worse than I was with uh, Once Upon a Time. Because the woman that plays the main character in here is the same woman that played in Parenthood, which was an amazing series, too. I loved it. Loved it, loved it. Because the reality of, of families and the dynamics is so, so, I can relate to. Totally. So I love those shows. And that girl in it, I don't know what her name is. She's got the dark hair. She's beautiful. I just, guys, I'm old, but I idolize that woman. I just love her personality, her quick wit, her, her, she's just so cool. She always looks so stinking cute. She's always quirky and got something to answer for everything. So it must be her true personality because on the other show, she had the same personality. So it must just be her. So it's easy for her to do that. But she's got that quick wit. I love quick wit. And I love to get into it with somebody who has equally quick wit and visit at a party. My um, daughter's mother-in-law is the, the quick wit. And I love when I see her. Um, we're going on vacation with them to the Rocky Mountains and spring break. And um, my my daughter's mother and father-in-law were all going. See, we do family things. We include and bond with my offspring's family as well. You know, uh, it's kind of a uh, thing that my kids have to kind of tell <laughs> the people to pass, pass uh, my kids uh, whatever their, their expectations of a person. They have to be... Um, of the family willingly and so far the only one that made a big huge boo-boo is Amy and those watching my earlier films which I probably should take down when my daughter was going through her horrible divorce with her husband and his infidelity leaving her at home with two babies didn't sit well with any of us his commitment to marriage no, it just doesn't, doesn't just drive it home. So, anyway, I don't know how I went down there, guys. I probably hit every topic that I possibly could in one film. I should have tried to sp spread it out over numerous. Because I know I'm going to get beat up over this one. But I can take it. I have, I have way too much good in my life. But I sure wish you people, some of you would be positive and cheerful. If everybody spent their day thinking about what they could do to make somebody smile instead of what somebody else can do to make them smile. Lot of me, 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 me. I have um, Deb. I'm going to talk about you right now, but I'm not going to give all the details. I'm just going to say this. Deb has left me messages regarding she has cancer. And been going through treatment. I'm going to put some glossy 
embellishment of this uh, <laughs> glossy accents by Ranger in the eyes as I'm talking. Deb, this is for you. God bless you. I'm going to say um, she is fighting the fight and has been giving been given news quite often. I mean, she's not doing well, Deb. I'm in. I hope, pray to God that you don't mind my mentioning this, but. Deb writes me to encourage me about my mother and giving me all of this support while she's dealing with the one message was like uh, three months. There's nothing they can do. They're trying now this immunotherapy, something that they use your own immune system. I don't remember. Um, they were going to do that on Kendall should her, her leukemia come back. Um, and folks, her Kendall's doing great with her leukemia. It's gone. We're on day year three, but um, leukemia is one of those cancers that you're not considered cured till ten years. So my daughter, that's one of the reasons she still lives in this constant panic mode, and and kind of drives it down, drives it home here, and hammers us to do things that she thinks would be preventive. But Deb gets on my YouTube channel. This is a saint. And she encourages me and tells me all these good things. And her, 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 her prognosis is the worst it could possibly be. You know, life ending. However, Deb, you'll go and be with God. Send me a few messages here what I can do for my mother. <laughs> I'm always asking God, please just give me a sign. Write me a note. Do something. You know, uh, but anyway, she um, is there to encourage me, even with all of this that she's going through, and that just humbles me. It just blows my mind. My mind, it does. Such selfless. That's my big thing: is people that aren't always thinking about themselves and what they want and what they make that makes them happy and what they're owed. Well, you know, unfortunately. We don't, nobody owes us anything. What we get is the, by the grace of God, I think. So, but Deb, I think about you all the time. And you wrote me a message again today and kind of given me an uh, update on what's going on and some of the things you've been taking off of so you're not feeling um, some of these feelings that you've been having. And I think that's awesome. But what I still can't believe, and I wrote, told you, is I cannot believe that you're still there to not think about you, and think about me, and encourage me with my mother. Blows my mind. That's a good person. It, that is a genuinely good, godly person. Thinking about others and not about herself. But hoping my mother's not doing good. Doing good. I went to talk to the doctor again yesterday. And they're putting her on the fourth medicine, and um, her prognosis is not good. I have to meet with the, the assisted living folks, the nurse there, on Monday to kind of go over where we're at and what's the next step. My mother gets up every morning and wishes she hadn't. Um, her dementia has progressed so much, and the paranoia is killing me because... She, when I went to pick her up yesterday, the day before, she didn't even want to get in the car with me. She wouldn't go downstairs. She wanted to get on the um, umbrella, umbrella, on the elevator. And she told me she didn't, you know, she didn't trust even me. And you know, my first reaction is, well, why wouldn't you trust me? I'm your daughter. But this is how she lives. And when we were driving in the car, I picked up a hand and and. She said, What's, what was I doing? Who was I giving signal to? So when she's with me, she will not let me out of her sight and watches every move I make. And when I'm leaving and have to walk down by where the nurse's station is, she stands at her doorway and she watches. And if I do not leave, immediately she comes down the hall and she's got a look of just a glare that she's just going to kill me. She wants to know what we're talking about. And guys, it is hard. It, you know, I told my husband I, I exchanged one sort of stress 
by moving her into the assisted living was very, very good. But it has not taken away all the stress. This other it just switched. Okay, guys, I'm done with these. I'm going to have to do the other side, but I've got to go find bases for the other two, these two. And I will get those up, and then I'll get the pictures. And I'm also going to include the pictures. I better make sure that this is still filming. This makes me nervous. And it is. I'm going to show you the pictures of some of my new line that we're going to be doing, and it's going to be all retro. Um, it, this one we have in mind is for instance a uh, uh, lingerie bridal shower but we're going to go retro on it and use these corsets and adding all the embellishments and the laces and the buttons and I will take some pictures of these these are the ones that I won't be I will not be videotaping I got to paint the stick on this I'm not going to videotape to show how I did some of the things um, but these these are hats from like in the 50s and um, again, I will take pictures of them. I'm not done. There's six hats, I do believe. And then there's, I think there's four corsets. Um, here's another corset. Uh, there's buds, like rose petal or buds here and buttons on it. And this had um, red and white gingham ribbons up here at the top. So I put red and white gingham bows on there. And I got a couple rolls of lace here uh, around the bottom. That's one. And again, I'll take pictures because I have no idea how well this is showing on the film. Here's one of the hats. And I added the bow and the flowers. And um, quite a bit goes on each one of these. I just am so excited because it's not going to just be this type of stuff, like just women's. It's everything. It's going to be a whole line. If somebody had a kitchen shower, uh, that the, the theme was kitchen and you had to bring utensils or whatever, I'm going to be doing retro on kitchens. The, the appliances, um, everything. I've got all the files ready. I've been collecting them probably for the last two or three years and just waiting for the time to be right to branch out. We're going to go, one is going to be a retro shop. And again, it'll be retro of anything, uh, men's anything, anything you want. You you have something specific and you can ask for it and we will do it. That shop will be strictly ret retro. Then we're going to have another shop that is going to be strictly the um, Divine Digital Diva, her babies, all files of hers. I own not most of them, but I own a lot of them. Um, she's phenomenal. I will be giving the links to her file. Those I will videotape. Um, the little girls. That'll be another shot. Because even though you know how to make it, not everybody wants to. Not everybody wants to make the investment in the materials to make it. It, it takes a lot. Uh, between the machine and the right printer and all the embellishments and things that you use on a daily basis, if you wanted to start it because you were going to do your own birthday party, there's a lot you have to, to, to get. So I'm going to continue doing parties for folks because I know everybody doesn't want to do it. And not only the stuff that you have to have, some people simply don't like it. My daughter wouldn't do uh, what I do for anything. She, no way. She does not like it, doesn't enjoy it, whatever. And if you don't like it, you'll never, you'll never, you won't be able to do it. You gotta like it. You gotta love it because it's a lot of work. So that's going to be it. And I'll get the pictures and get this uploaded. And I thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.